Bennett to take the free. You now he's 45, and that's been the only point they scored in the second half, Dublin. The Stephen Cluxton 45. He did clear it by some distance. This one further out with the angle. Trickier angle for a left footer as well. But they do need this badly, and that is brilliant from Cluxton. Some of his kickouts down at the other end have not been working well, but that has worked well. So there are two points in the second half, both from their goalkeeper, their fourth top scorer in this year's championship. I think you can make it the third top one now, because he slipped in with eight points. And I think that really uh, encapsulates the problem Dublin have. They just don't have enough scorers out there, and that's the problem they're having. We understand that they're going to take Alan Brogan. Dublin are going to take Alan Brogan back off. And Kevin McMenamin will be introduced. Here's Aidan O'Shea. Alan Dillon. Surrounded. And that meant there had to be a few players free. Michael Darrop McCauley to his right is Paul Flynn. Dear McConnelly very close to him, playing at centre forward. Owen O'Gara has an eye for goal. As you know, and O'Gara is dragged back. They get on with it quickly. They need a goal. Kieran Kilkenny, happy enough to take the point. It's been signalled wide by David Clark, but not by the umpire. It has gone over. Thought there was a goal chance there. Yeah. O'Gara took the quick one. Pretty sure there was too. He developed it to his left, but uh, a lot of the defenders back. In fairness to him, and Alan there's Brogan, Brogan going off. Yeah, was not fit enough to be involved. Yeah. He, he took a long. You remember the shot he took there, maybe about five minutes ago, maybe 40 meters out. He forced it. The groin obviously uh, started uh, playing up on him again, and he had to come off. A bit early for cramp. But that is what's happening at all. There's actually uh, two male players down with injuries at the moment. Colin Boyle. I think it might be more than cramp actually yeah. out there because when he when he ran by he seemed to get a kick in the head, an accidental kick in the head. And I think you could find he has a blood injury at the back of his it was, head. It was cramped down at the other end. For oh, sorry, Kane. Yeah. yeah. But there's Colin Boyle who was ruled out of the starting 15 because of a virus, but he's going to come in. For who we don't know. Well, maybe it's for Kevin McLaughlin. I think McLaughlin is going to yeah. have to go off. Probably is a blood sub. Yeah. It was a, 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 just over the three quarter mark in this contest. Yeah, from a male perspective, I mean, it looks so, so good. They're they're dominating everywhere. Only goals will, uh, there's the kick, there's just a, a, an accident, I believe. And uh, But the Dublin need goals, I, I just don't see where they're going to get them at the minute. There's Boyle involved, and Paul Flynn with the shoulder. Referee didn't like it. And the notebook is out, Mayo have got a free. Kane is a big strong fella. Former fullback at underage level. Aidan O'Shea. Intercepted by Rory O'Carroll. And again, there's some afters with Alan Freeman. Some of the Dublin players in their comments in the papers during the week, they said that all year they do not panic. They cannot afford to panic now. Mayo in the winning position. Dublin have got to claw their way back. Paul Flynn has given that absolutely everything, Flynn, and it's gone over the bar. So that's three in a row for the reigning All-Ireland champions. And it's back to seven. It's still a long way back, but there is time, quarter of an hour. It's a brilliant kick. Absolutely brilliant kick, and David Clark can wave that as, as wide as he wants, but that is a fantastic, a fantastic shot by Flynn, and badly wanted. Seven-point game, as you say, it's, of course it's possible, if they, it, but they will need a goal. They managed four in a row during the first half, Dublin. Here's Flynn again, is he going to be the man to turn this around and produce one of the most remarkable comebacks of all time. Bernard Brogan still can't make it happen. Cafferkey and then Kane able to double up on him. And here's Alan Dillon. The brilliant Alan Dillon. And Rory O'Carroll collided accidentally, according to the referee, with Alan Freeman and then managed to keep the ball in play, even though he went out over the line. Ger Brennan. 
12 points was the difference in the league game back in March. They're back to within seven, and now it's Michael Darren McCauley. They need a goal. Kevin McMenamin's in, and now Bernard Brogan. Is this the moment? Brogan caught by Kane, and it's a free in. It's a free in. He's still trying his absolute best here. He was fouled, Bernard Brogan. Well, you asked me earlier, was it a cynical one? That certainly is. We're not going to let the danger man in, and Kane takes the takes the foul. Thought he'd have to take a card as well, but he, I don't think he got one. But uh, a tap over, a tap over for Dublin. Bernard Brogan getting on with it and putting it over the bar. So now it's six. And now we will head down to the sideline and join Marty Morrissey. Marty! Well, Darrell, well, the male footballers are doing well on the field. There's uh, quite a number in the treatment room with Kevin McLaughlin with a bad laceration on the back of his head. And then De Varley is still being treated in there with a potential broken nose. Marty, thank you. Five points apiece in the second half, but that six-point gap and that lead Mayo had from half-time still remains. And Mayo have a line ball. They've put Dublin under pressure in every position. The intensity, the pace, the skill, so impressive. And Dublin have been flat up until right now. Cafferty holding on to Brogan, Brogan wanted to get on with it quickly, it's moved even closer for some descent. So Dublin starting to put some significant pressure on Mayo. This will go over as well, and then you're back even closer, and regardless of ten-point leads, even at that stage, the game isn't over, and it's certainly not over now. Well, let's just go back, six short years. Was it a seven-point gap? Yeah. And uh, okay, it was Mayo that were uh, in a difficult position, but Dublin have not uh, shown us that they're going to give up. They're going to keep at it. And time, 12 minutes, and there's going to be a bit of injury, quite a bit of injury time, I'd suggest. Yeah. Well, if there is a big performance in Dublin, it needs to emerge in the final 12 minutes plus added time. It was there against Loud in the first day of the Leinster Championship, but it hasn't really been there since then. And the referee is. Uh, being spoken to or by one of his officials and told about something that's happening and happened off the ball and he's going to take some action. Donald Vaughan. Yeah, Donald Vaughan, and it's uh, going to be some form of a card, we would assume, because it's a relaxed uh, looking sort of chance, that it's just going to be a yellow, yeah. Jersey pulling, yeah. Dublin have put over five points in a row. Mayo haven't scored in, what, eight minutes. Here's Jer Brennan, who has been coming more into it over the last few minutes. Owen O'Gara. Michael Darren McCauley still going forward. O'Gara. And O'Gara has put that one oh, wide. Gosh. The crowd on Hill 16 thought that was over. You can see the reaction and the hands go up, but he's put it wide. Should have scored it. He lands a few players coming off him just as he does it. Really should have scored. That would have added a lot of momentum in a four-point game, then gets everybody edgy in a green and uh, red shirt. Mayo are going to make a change. They'll be edgy enough anyway. No, they're going to hold off on that. They're not going to do it now. They were going to bring Jason Gibbons in. So, five between them, ten minutes left. Now he's on, Jason Gibbons. Replacing Richie Feeney, very congested around the middle. But Dublin have been getting the better of that area in the last ten minutes, and that's coincided with their arrival back in this All-Ireland semi-final. Here on Kilkenny, fouled by Donald Vaughan, who needs to be careful because he's on a yellow. He was happy to give that away. Dublin still need scores, they need them quickly. Owen O'Gara has been crunched, and this surely will bring them back to within four. And then we've got a game on our hands because Dublin have clawed their way back. It just didn't seem to be there, but the All-Ireland champions are not gone yet. 
Well, both men had their eye. Oh, a clash of heads. Both men certainly had their eye on the ball. I think Cafferty has come off the worst of it. It was a good bang. Both heads meeting. Free in for Dublin, though, is the key result out of it, which you'd expect. Will uh, close the gap even further now to a four-point game. And as I said to you a while ago, there everybody gets a bit edgy then in defence and attack. Mayo are certainly struggling now in the last uh, ten minutes. Can't get their hands on the ball at all. But some of the Dublin players around the referee, they want Jerry Cafferty to be removed or they want just taken off while his treatment is continuing because the clock is still ticking away. We're going to have a huge amount of stoppage time at a time. Put on to the end of the 70 minutes, I would think. There have been yeah. all sorts of stoppages. You think of the injury to was the end of Arley down there for the facial injury he suffered. Bernard Brogan is still waiting as Jerk Cafferty's treatment continues. He did take a significant knock and when it's a head injury you can't yeah. take the risk. And you remember also yeah. the referee looking around to see who was involved. Yeah, that was took quite, that, a, quite a time. So several minutes. Yeah. It's been contentious this season, the adding on, how much is added on. You know, you were surely up around three, four, five uh, territory, I would have thought. But uh, this is what's in front of Brogan. This is important. It certainly is. Dublin have put over five in a row. Brogan has had to wait a long time. He's got two points in this recovery. And now he's got three. There is still time. Four points back. Mayo haven't scored since the 51st minute. Just need to get their hands on it. Uh, Mayo at the midfield needs to start functioning in, or certainly on the brakes, or a quick kick out. And there we have it. There's a quick kick there out. There is the quick kick out from Clark. Is this going to turn out to be 2006 the other way around with the lead Dublin had after, I think, wasn't it 46 minutes of the second half, and then to lose by a point? Here is Keith Higgins. They haven't been in the final since 2006. You know all the years they've had to wait for another All-Ireland. Johnny Ball wait in the final, but Dublin have tightened up in that half-back line and absolutely everywhere as they've kept Mayo out. Michael Darrow McCauley, the ball moved forward and he lets it rip right down the middle of the field. And now it's Kevin McMenamin. Remember last September, he's got O'Gara inside. Popped into O'Gara, O'Gara crunched. He's got helpers, Bernard Brogan. Brogan now and it's blocked down. Brilliant defending from Mayo. Out for a 45, though. David Clark does not think so, it's been called as a 45 by the umpire, Cluxton will come forward, if he slots it over there's only a goal between them, was it a 45 though? Didn't think so on first viewing, but he was closer to it, no, it's just off camera, We're not. oh no it's definitely wide ball off McMenamin, but these are the breaks you get when uh, things get tight uh, in the last few minutes, here goes off Kevin McMenamin I suppose the excitement of it and how yeah. close it is Cluxton is lining up the 45, and that's Kevin Kane who's gone down injured. And the stoppage doesn't help him. It does aid Mayo, though, but I wonder will Stephen Cluxton, yeah, he's getting on with it. Well, Kane has cramped, and of course we do know Cluxton is just unflappable. He's, 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 he's uh, our unflappable, he's just amazing in these situations. And this would bring it to three. Yeah. And Cluxton, remember his point when they were 10 down from the place ball, brought them back to within nine, and now that lead is down to within three. The All-Ireland champions still the All-Ireland champions. And uh, you'd have to say, Dara, it is squeaky bum time now, because with three, three points, five minutes plus, maybe four or five additional, lots of time from a Dublin perspective now, and if they were to get a goal, of course, that would fairly rock the house. So it's all up for grabs.